New guidance from the TEA says local school boards can vote on whether they want to keep their mask mandates in place or drop them entirely. The middle of the week decision has led to lots of difficult discussions. Absolutely. 12 News reporter Jordan James is keeping tabs on things for us tonight. He's live with reaction from parents and also the alarm that one teacher's group is sounding. Hours after Governor Abbott announced his new order, school districts across the state were scrambling to find out how this would impact them. And tonight we have some more clarity. What has become a common sight at schools across the state soon could be changing. That was definitely disappointing. New guidance from the Texas Education Agency will now allow districts to decide whether to keep their mass mandate in place after Governor Abbott rescinded the statewide order, causing concern for Port Nature's Grove parent, April McBride. PNG does not allow virtual, so that's why it's been hard for me mentally all school year with the mass mandate in place. And now for it, a, for it to be a possibility that they don't have to wear it is a little exciting. PNGISD is among the many districts planning to make a determination about their COVID-19 protocols following new guidance from a TEA. A key component to opening up is making sure that our schools will be open so our students can return to school and return to school safely. Wednesday, the state's health department announced plans to prioritize educators in its vaccine plans. While the news has been celebrated by many, one of the state's top teacher unions is calling on more to be done to protect educators. We have to. We don't have the majority of our population vaccinated. We're glad that we're getting more vaccines in, but the reality is that even if um, the adult population gets fully vaccinated, uh, we're still going to be in classrooms with students that do not meet the criteria. With COVID-19 still a lingering threat, McBride hopes that others understand the importance of masking up. So if I have a mask on and I have two people around me that don't have a mask on, I still can catch COVID and then have a chance of bringing it to somebody else. If you still have questions about your child's school on our website, we have a breakdown district by district of preliminary plans. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.